Okay, I'm attempting to record with my phone up in the thing, but I can't see what's happening because it's covering my phone. So that's interesting. We'll see what happens. I might have to do it again. So um, I guess I'm on screen here and I just wanted to update you with what I am up to. So let's pull out, look at this. This was half empty, no, more than half empty before and now look, it's exploding. So I'll just show you, I finished off all of the bits that I had prepared. You've seen all of that, I think, yes. That's all things you've seen. I need to put some samples of those, actually. I need to prepare those. Yes, good idea. Okay, right, I need to remember that. I'll, t I'll explain what I mean in a second. So this is what I've done so far. So this is a pocket, another pocket. So these are all the ones that I had decorated the other day. Um, a tag, this is a tag. Oh, or a journaling card. Some more tags. Oh, that came off. Just a second. We must do repairs immediately. Okay. So that's a tag. Probably need to do more tags. Another one. Oh, that's a big journaling card. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be. Well, I have to decorate the back of that one. There you go. Ding dong. Um, these are the ones with pockets. This one I didn't put anything there because I thought it was so pretty and it's going to have a tag in there anyway. There's this one. So lots of those. Um, little journaling card. This could be a little flip out or something cute. Isn't that cute? Um, this one here. I hope you can see. Uh, pocket here and that will be a double tuck. Uh, another little tag there. Um, another one with the pocket. So look, I've got lots of stuff done. Really a lot. That's a, um, it's upside down. That's a journaling card. And look, isn't that gorgeous? That's Mrs. Cog. Um, this is another journaling card. Another Mrs. Cog there. Isn't that pretty? I'm very happy with this. Look how much how much I got done. It's just amazing. Love that with the owl. Um, and then, oh, things are sticking together. Because um, I've been whizzing along. They haven't been drying. That's a little journaling card. Little pocket. Oh, that's the flippy thing. I need to do an example of that. that that's Wendy's idea. I've only done one of those. Um, and then that's that double one there. And that can go, well, no, that goes that way, that one. It's going to be a little pocket tag, little envelope. Super cute. I love that. And then another one of those pocket tags. I've only done one of those. I need to do some more of them. Um, another pocket, another pocket, pocket with a flip. Um, this is one of the, you know, the pages that open out. Pocket. Um, this is a pocket with a double pocket. How about that? Another pocket with a pocket. Tag. Little pockety, flippity things. Oh, isn't that pretty? I forgot about that one. And that and that. So that's all the stuff I've got made. I still feel like I need more. Of course I need more. But then I wanted to update you. On. I just don't want to damage things because that now doesn't fit. Okay, so what I've done is this basket here was exploding with all of my book pages, right? Oh, there's another one. Um, and I and I just couldn't stand it another second. Let's just move those. They don't actually shouldn't probably even be in there. I'll put those at the front. All I've got now are the Daphne's diaries. I need to go through and make those become things and then I've got just random bits and pieces so what I wanted to show you is what I've done now these are going to be my samples so this was one of um Junie Desiree designs but I don't um it's the paper that I've done it's a bit flimsy so I probably won't do that one again but I'll put it in my little sample book anyway so this is what I've come up with as I was stitching along um I've sort of made samples of every idea that's popped into my head so um there's this one here with a flip journal and it's going to be a pocket and this can be a tuck so that's that one it could be something floating um then i've done a bag with a pocket and a flip and then this is kind of like a little envelopey sort of thing with a pocket in the front as well um this is just like folded like an envelope 
but um, it's going to be a journaling spot. But it could be like a belly band, and then you can flip it out, and it will be a journaling spot. That's my idea with that one. Um, oh, have I put aside two of those? Just a second. Oh, well, that one was meant to go in over there. I'll sh then I'll show you what I've done after this to, to get myself organized. So this is what I think is a great idea, I'm finding, if you end up with lots of um, gluing, you know, book pages that you've been gluing on. I'm going to have to create something to keep all of this stuff in. I don't know whether it should be in a like a box, just standing up, or whether it should be in a binder or a book or something. So this is just like another type of book page envelope. Oh, this is um, one of the side tucks with an envelope. I've got these cute, gorgeous little mini envelopes and they've got their own little card. So I've put one in there. Um, and so that's another idea. Um, this is just the Daphne's Diary page to remind me to do those um, tri-foldy ones that I did um, with Medieval Mirage a while, very early on in my um, 100 day project and I had it tied clothes. Um, so yeah, and then, oh this, I didn't do this, I need to do this. This is um, like a pocket here and a pocket there. I've never done one of those. So maybe we, I'll put that aside so we remember that because I haven't done that. Oh, and then this one, um, actually I didn't make any examples of that one either. So this one's just like a pocket here. It's only a single page, so it's not very strong. That would all have to be very um, collaged. And then it could flip out um, and you could probably write there and then that could be a pocket. This could all be collaged over, I thought. So that I'll put that one out because I haven't made another example of those. Um, and then this is that one there that you've seen before. And then that one's with the pocket going sideways. These are ones that I made quite a while back. Then there's that one. Did one of those with the pocket there, just to remind me. Oh, this these envelopes I did also in the project, um, 100 day project, and I, I was a bit precious about them. I haven't used them. Um, so I've made an example up, so that way I can make some more. Um, and then what's this? What have I done? Oh, that's that one, just one of those. And then this is a tag with a pocket. I haven't done any of those. Did I make any of those up for this round? And then that's just the little envelopey thing. Do I have two of those? Oh, what a ding dong, I don't know. Oh, that's that one that you saw decorated. That's what's confusing me. Oh, and then these corner pockets that can flip up and you can write on them. I've never done those before. And then this one, I always forget about this one. That just glues down onto the page and it's got a pocket. And then um, this is that other one. Um, I think I've already got an example of that here. Let me just check. Oh, I do. I made two. All right, well, um, maybe I'll keep that one. Maybe I'll keep this one. I'll stitch around that one and keep that one for a journal and then there's just this with a pocket and that could be like a journaling card with a pocket or it could be a pocket going that way it could be a pocket going that way and a pocket behind then what just an example of one of these so I've always got that to remind myself and then one of these here again a bit flimsy I prefer to do it using folded book page there and then this one here so that's all my examples so far and they, that could grow, that could grow, because ideas, as you do stuff, ideas come to you, and then I think you should make a sample of it up, because otherwise, I just, you know, rack my brain every time I do a journal, like, what, oh, what do I have to put in it? So what I've gone ahead and done, which you'll probably faint, is what I've been doing is, I've got, I pulled out all of my pages from here, and I thought, Every, every time I get an amount of pages that I've been gluing on, building up, I'm going to stop and make up some things. So I've made, this is going to be all collaged and, um, and it's going to be a fold out that you can write in. Um, this is just a little mini envelopey thing. Uh, another one of those little pockets. I've prepared a few of these. What's those? What are those doing there? If I can't tell you, oh, they were going to be tags, but I afterwards I had stitched around them all. See, they are stitched around them all. Here, I've got one of those. They're cute. Another one of these. So I've just made stitched everything up into that's going to be a pocket or a tag, um, pocket or a journaling card. The same with these. 
um, pockets, folded, put some folded ones. So that way I've got a nice array of things that I can just decorate. It's going to be, oh, that's going to be a tag, a journaling card with the pocket. Um, I think I might, I think I might make another one of those. What are you up to? You're, oh, she's baking. What are you up to? Train hard. Oh, you're exercising. I already did my exercises today. I'm going to, do exercise. I'm going to make that another journaling card with a pocket because I like those. And I think I'll do that one as well. Journaling card with pockets. So I'll stitch those. Um, so they're all just here, ready to go, ready to be decorated. Um, and they're not just sitting there overwhelming me thinking, oh, God, that's going to be a little tag. What am I going to do with all, what, with all that stuff? So they're all stitched. And I know when I look at them what they are to be. So how about that for organisation? And that's going to be an envelope. Um, that's just, oh, that's uh, one of those side pockets. Or it could be a pocket like that if you have a particularly big um, journal. Here's another one. And I've hinged it with fabric. That idea came from Wendy. I was hinging with um, paper. But I think fabric is probably more resistant. And it's also softer. So I figure it might be a little bit less bulky. So this is what I've been, this is my organisation. So I really felt like I've been doing stuff. Although probably wasting a whole lot of time that's not stitched oh, I don't like it when I see them not stitched because then I decided to stitch them all um, there's that one there tag pocket tag oh this is going to be one of the opening door ones um, if you know what I mean so is that one and that's just a side pocket or that way whatever you decide this is just a little opening out sort of thing it's going to be I think or was that going to be an envelope? It can be either or pocket and big tag with pocket. Or it can be a, t a, p a tuck with a pocket. You can decide or it can become an envelope. So that is it. And now I literally do not have any more book pages that are driving me bananas. So that's really great. And I like the fact that now I'm going to use these bags as well. So... Um, yeah, so I've got all my samples. I'm not going to be pre pre uh, pre 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 precious about, you know, using these things because I've got many made um, and I've got a sample of each one. And so now I can just get on with the job at hand. So maybe we haven't done one of those. We haven't done one of those. Um, what about one of these? And here's the little one. You don't need to watch me do tags again. That's a little envelope and that's the opening door one so maybe we'll do that one and I think that's what we'll do today so this is wonderful now I've got these ready I can just take these in my basket to the TV and work on them and create my bases and then I can just do them in the style that I need to for oh we haven't done any of those either um, I don't know if I'll get them all done today because you know the brain might not work the brain may not go very fast. That's the problem. So they go back in the basket, but they're all done. Not done, but you know what I mean. Now this um, Daphne's Diary page is not sticky anymore, so I thought I'd make it sticky again. Um, although, did I want to do it with the opening door? No, I wanted to make this one into tags. So um, what I might do is collage this first. Am I recording? Who knows? Looks like it. Okay, I just can't relax, can I? I need to take a chill pill. So, um, oh, that's just rubbish from doing stuff in front of the TV. I'll just chuck that down there. And let me grab my scrappy scraps. Very easy to do now that I'm all organised. And soon I'm going to feel like I can um, pull out my nice papers because I have all these papers from you lovely ladies out there and I don't use them because I feel like I've got too many scraps to use up. So I'll put my book over there. I shouldn't be whinging now because um, I don't have anything, I don't have any tripod annoying me, so this should be good. So we're gonna use this, these papers. I still have quite a lot of these ones and the medium ones, so I need to get through them. So yeah, I was a bit of a ding dong. I put a tab on there and it, it wasn't anything it was meant to be a pocket but I often need big journaling cards I put that aside just to, then I'll decide whether I want to keep it or not 
So when I say for the newbies, before you say anything, um, that I'm using the, the Daphne Diary pages, I'm just recycling them. I am not, when I'm done with those, you won't be able to see what it was. It gets, it all is all covered. It's just the base. Um, and when I'm using the Daphne's Diaries, I don't show a millimetre of it. You wouldn't know what's under there. Just so you know. Because I know that they said no. Well, I never made a journal out of one anyway. Because um, it's not really my thing. But I did kind of think, like them a little bit to decorate with. But I then I just sort of got bored of them very quickly. Um, and never really used them very much. So there you go. I think I'll put that one there. So we're still scrap, scrap busting today. But scrap busting and trying to organise ourselves better, shall we say. That's what I'm doing. I, hope, I do hope I'm on screen, otherwise I won't post this video. Um, people have gotten in my head. Some of you ladies have noticed. Um, it's just, you know, it becomes a bit of a headache when you do a boo-boo. It really does. You're already annoyed with yourself and then it annoys everybody else and then it really gets into your head and, and it just makes, when you're videoing it, you just worry about it all the time. And it takes the, it does, it does take a bit of the pleasure out of it. It makes you not want to turn the camera on. But I, no, I'm not, don't, don't. Don't get angry, ladies. Nobody said anything mean to me at all. Not lately. So it's all good. It's all good. And I, I, I will actually, I had decorated this one. I was thinking I won't go ahead and do any um, anything further. But I, what I would like to do is possibly just put a third little something there. I do have these lovely strips of... And those, those colours, oh, aren't they perfect with this? I just like to put a little strip there. It's a shame to tear it, but come on, we don't need to start hoarding the... Oh, I like that side more, so I need to take that little straight edge off um, the coffee dyed paper. You can always make more, and there's always more nice effects. And this was just a strip that I hadn't thrown out and that I just threw in the bin with the others. Oh, I should have torn that off too, it doesn't matter. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. There we go. So that's that. That one is done. That can go in the done box because silly me. Okay, so I have this. Now this is going to... I need to think about this, don't I? Right, so I'm just going to create my base, really. Or will I decorate it? I'll do a little bit and then I'll decide. So you might like to see the decorating. You might. First of all, I'm thinking I might... Oh, no, it's not that wide, is it? It's not wide enough, I want to say. I'm, but I am going to. I think I'll put this here, and then I'll put a strip of something down there. Don't you love the measuring? This is how you measure. Stick it, lay it on top and tear away. And, you know, anything that's too complicated, with too many measurements, just really does my head in. So, um... I mean, you do have to measure sometimes. It's the same with sewing. You do have to measure sometimes. But even with sewing, you know, when I make a bag, um, I, um, I do just, I make my front and I make my back and have my measurements. But then I probably don't, don't normally cut out my lining until, so I have to trim that off. I can see the white. Um... I sort of lay my front on and then cut out my lining because okay, I'm, I'm not a perfect crafter so then I think that will be perfect there um, and so what do I want to say yeah so I just lay it on top and then that's how I get my measurements oops crooked now my only problem here is I need to tear that off too because otherwise the writing will be upside down because there's some some writing there. That's okay. And that will go there and I need to tear it here. Oops. Okay. Let's 
good. So that's all I've done so far. Want a bit of ch chitter chatter. There's been a bit of chitter chatter, but not much else. Okay, so here, what would we like to see? Probably don't have much of a choice, do I? Because I've used um, most of my... Oh, here's a nice colourful bit. I was going to say, I've used most of my colourful bits. Yeah, I just want to get this job sort of... I wanted to show you this because then I'll then I'll just start. Work, I'll just work on it, um, maybe in front of the TV tonight, and um, and then this won't appear probably for a while again in the video. So that's good. That can go there. Perfect. Oh, I've got a bit of white there. I'll just snip that off. So let's glue that. Okay, so that's that. And then I just need to do something here. What I would like there is some old book page. So this in my mind would be a journaling spot. This will be decorated. Just, oh, I'll just grab my folders over here. See what I've got in here. Never know, I might have something in here that I might like to put there. I'm pretty excited to feel like I can now start pulling out papers that I've printed because I haven't been using them. Not much in there. Not much. It's all plain. It's really all you know leftovers of this plain, all this plain stuff I've been using. So um, it's all a bit boring. I mean, that one can go in there, and those can go in there, and that can go in there. There you go. So. Let me see here. It's all plain. It's all plain. Plain, plain, plain. That one's not. That's pretty. So I could have some of that. But we'll need something else. Oh, I know what it's going to have. So th that just reminded me of Tina when I did that because I literally just looked over and saw that piece of poppy dyed paper and um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah um, and thought, yes, I'll put that on. That's, that's the benefits. Tina always says that she has such a messy table, but she says it's inspiring to her because um, she just looks over, glances over, and she sees something that she can use. So this is true. This is, those are the benefits. That is the benefit of having a messy table because you have things there. How nice is that? That you can use. So my table might be a little bit too tidy. It's full of things placed about in organized fashion ish I'll say ish because it's not that perfect right so now we need to where's my book page what have I got going on here here we go this is what I want this is what I want, this super old book page. I just love it. Okay, I think I'll just put that there. And that is it. 
Oh, I might need a little bit of decoration, but we can do that later. I don't know if I want to do that now. If I'm not feeling inspired, I won't do it. Because otherwise you'll just sit here and watch me flip-flop. Well, I'm glad Lily's decided to do exercise. She's been a bit of a, a vampire today, sitting in her room in the dark. There we go. Oh, I like that. It's nearly in here. It's probably, but we won't worry about it now. So that's that. And then I have to decide how to decorate it. But I have a nice base there, ready to go. Right. Let's look at this one. So this is one of those ones. So what I need to do is cover this in here. And get this nice big piece out. And let me just see the length. Oh, I want to keep that bit there. So this is from my copy dyed paper kit that I printed out, so it was a leftover. So I'm going to glue that down, and I think this is pretty sticky, this one over here I've got a bit of a space. And then that would be trimmed down, ready to make as, oh no, you know what, I could even collage over it, although I need to cover the whole thing. And that's ready to use for... To, to make tags and I won't fold this I'll let it dry a minute before I fold it but I'm going to fold that and that one I wanted to get rid of that edge there oops very bad tearing okay I'll probably end up trimming that off anyway. So that's going to be cut into tags. I'll put that over there. And I need to glue something up here. Right. So let's tear. And once I get a few more of these more exciting things done, um, then I feel like I can... Um, stitch them into the journals but I think I've made quite a lot of stuff so I think I might have some left over for the next journals I might have to make only a minimal amount for the next journals that I need to start on and as I have so much of this paper I'm just not going to keep that and throw it away let me see if I've got another Daphne's diary here that hasn't stuck oh here's another one Okay. I left a little bit of white there by accident, so maybe if I put that there. Oh yes, that's lovely. There you go. That's why I just don't throw away these little bits. Because and it's super old book page. It's very nice to have that. Okay, so that's that. Um I'm not going to decorate the back because you're not going to see the back. I wasn't going to fold it, but now I am. Probably should let it that I'll let that one dry. I'll fold that there. So I need to decorate here and there. It's okay. Let's see if I've got any nice bits here. Maybe, no, that's all plain, that one. So that's 
Let's go and ask that one there. Look how many of those I've got? I love that. That's pretty. That one. Oh, so much of that. I mean, I might have to be ruthless and throw some of it out. Oh, that one's nice. Okay. Right, well, we'll just put that back over there. And I think I'll use, which is my wider bit, that one there. So I think I'll use this, because I love that. And I love the script. And it's going to be a little bit decorated, so um, you won't be able to see it all. I really have no idea what you can see and what you can't see. It's going to be very interesting. Put that there. And, oh, I might have enough to flip it over and use that on the other side. So let's glue. What a mess I'm getting myself into. Okay, put that there. Maybe I would like. No, yeah, I'd like it like that. Okay, and then if I, well that's going to be on the top I think, and then I could have, oh why wouldn't you do that, because that's, that's, you can just use it all up, of course you would do that. I'm just going to take a bit of this white off at the top, because I've got a lot of white there, white, it's it's kind of textural, but I um, actually need to take off that edge as well. It's too big. So let's just put it here. I'm fumbling about a little bit today. Put that there. Or, yeah, I think I like it flipped over, so... Okay, good. Slide that over. Okay. A little bit crooked. There we go. Okay, and that's ready for decoration. Where did I put my other thing? Oh, there. Okay, next. That's next. As I have a lot of this, maybe it needs to go that way. Okay, so that's that. Have a bit of Tracy there. No, I think I'll have a bit of this. So let's tear our edges. This piece here, I'm not going to patch it with these smaller pieces. I want to um, maybe use like a, a bigger, you know, a bigger expanse of paper. So I'll leave that. 
until I decide what. Is this my sample? This was my sample. I'm collaging my sample. That's my sample. Okay, well, I've got one in here somewhere. I'll just have to get it from here and put it back there. Oh, what a goose. What a goose, what a goose. Where's another one? Can't find one now, can I? There you go, put that there. And I'll, I'll put a little tab on the top of that so I remember it's a, it's a, um, you know, a tag. Just trying to see if there, oh, I know where I should be looking in here. Or there, where there's little strips. There you go, I found a piece. Found a bigger piece. And I'm gonna might use and, and I'm gonna might use this. That's fabulous English. This is it. You see? Bit of arty maze. I can't remember who's that. Oh, that's my porch prince, I think. Yes. decorated afterwards so there you go I've done I've done something with my sample that was silly wasn't it okay I don't even need to put anything on the back because it's plain that one um, so I picked it up from the wrong here's a nice cute little um, envelope Be nice on just on on a tag that one. I think I'll put that on a tag. Oh, that's quite nice there. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. I'll pretty it up. It's a bit grungy, but it will it will improve. So let's measure this. Okay, 
And then I needed this one, I think. I think I would like to put something else in there. Oh, I know. What about some old, really old book page? I like it much more than that. It's much more interesting. So I need to put it there and... Oh, okay. I just need to tear it down there. It needs to fit in um, within the sewing. Hear that, and I want to slip it under there. So tear that there. Ooh, I think I like that side more, or the pale side, the pale side. trim it off there. I'd wanted to slip it under but I don't know if I can. Oh yes I can. I can. There we go. Oh I like that. Okay let's not fold it until after and then I need to put something on there. I might put that there. I've been wanting to put it somewhere haven't I? Put that there. Fold it. I'm just going to put a little piece of this, I think. one of these on here. And I might choose this one in the middle here because it has pink. Must um, find a hole punch, a circle punch, I should say, that's that size. So that way, because I'm not a very good cutter. Oh yeah, that's going to be really pretty. But it needs a little bit of something behind it. glue all over here and then glue 
this. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that. That's quite good. There we go. Yep, like that. That's one little one, and that is finished. That can sit over there and dry. Now, let's have a look at this one. What do I want to do here? Do I want to put maybe some of this? And let's have a look what's in here. Mm, I think I like that there. And I'm not going to put any anything on it, really. Okay, so let's just turn this around. It's getting a bit sticky there. And don't forget it's going to have a, a pretty tag, I hope, in there. Or journaling card, I should say. So that's that. That one's done. Now, oh, this one's like this. So this one doesn't need anything inside folded it too soon you need to let it dry before you fold it I'm impatient and I folded it so now I need to smooth it out so I'm going to have that there so what I like to do with these is I think this might be yeah I'm going to put that there so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to back it with some book page I'll use some of that just um, just so that when you open it it's not white make sure it's facing up the right way and I'll glue it there and I need to get rid of this book page anyway and then I think I'll stitch around it I might tear it I've just put the, the book page just there, um, sort of next to me, um, in case I might need to use it again. It's sticky, so I'll just put it down there. Now, here's this. That's what I want to put there. Might need a little bit of textile behind it. Or... How did your exercises go, Lily? Good. It was not that bad. What did you do? I did an ab and thigh workout. Ab and thigh workout? Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Sounds feel very good. good. Now. You feel good? Yeah. Happy with yourself? Yep. Good. Instead of doing nothing. Instead of doing nothing. That's correct. Put that there. Oh, I like that. Don't feel like it needs anything else now, do I? So I'll put that there. First, let me stitch around it. Where's my thing gone? How did it get all the way over there? to go on there. Isn't that cute? So I might, excuse me, I'm going to put my PVA on and it's to about there.
and you could stitch on but I don't want to because um, you've got your writing spot there and I did this on a single book page because with all of the collaging it becomes quite thick I didn't say that before like that and then here I could just put a little bit of lace or something just let me close my glue or I could put I don't think I have a long narrow sort of flower or anything like that that could go there don't think so I just want a bit of lace, I think, maybe. Let's see what I've got here. I'm just trimming the top off because otherwise it's gathered and I don't want it to be gathered. Just put that there. that and then I'm just a little piece of this I think there we go and that one is done okay and then the last one I've got no idea what I want to do here no idea So these lovely ladies are elegant ladies um, from Mrs. Cog. I don't like her there. I'm just going to trim. Don't need that dark bit there. I'm going to stitch around this. Oh, I love that. It's going to go there. Let's glue that down. Okay, and I might put a little piece of this. I love, as you can see, I do love the old book page. I love the texture of it. Oh, will I do that? Can't. Yeah, I like the paler side. I love the texture of it. I love the font, the colour of the paper. It's wonderful. Put that there. And I saw I had a little piece of this. No, it covers her up. And then in here is for writing. Put that there. And then let me see. These might be too small. And again, this is going to have a tag or some ephemera. I could put a little bit of something up there. I think I'll put that one there. No, 
Okay. So there we go. That is it for today, guys. I need to go and check. I've got um, stock on and it's got um, meat in it cooking as well. So I need to go and check. It's probably all dried up. So am I even on screen? I can't see. Can't see for looking. Okay. So I've done this bag. Super cute. Got a little bit done. Don't know if there was something else that I'd started. Anyway, um, there's this one. And then this cute little envelope here. And then this fold out. It's going to have some uh, string around it that I glue onto the back. And then you can write on it. Really cute. So thank you for watching. And I will be back again soon. Bye.